I've got so many great questions from students and so many great ideas during this workshop. Uh, and I love being exposed to students because they make me rethink some of the concepts that I thought I understood in the first place. Uh, when you're working day to day, as I do in, in film sound, you get used to thinking of sound in a certain way. And when somebody who has been working at the craft for a far shorter period of time than I has asks me a really basic question, I suddenly have to rearrange my brain chemicals to uh, uh, address it in a different way from a different perspective than I had conceived of before. And so being exposed to the students at Media Sound Hamburg uh, refreshes me and energizes me creatively uh, in, in ways that I think wouldn't happen if uh, I weren't here in Hamburg. A little over 20 years ago, I, I wrote an essay called Designing a Movie for Sound. And it was an attempt to help directors figure out what it would mean to take sound so seriously sound design so seriously that they would begin thinking a lot about sound during the screenwriting process uh, and certainly during the production of the movie instead of waiting until post-production. I'm happy to say that many more directors are thinking in those terms these days and I'm getting feedback from directors all over the world that indicate that the films that they're making are taking advantage of sound in ways that they didn't before. I've been doing this, doing movie sound, for uh, really over 40 years. And things have changed quite a bit in that period of time. Uh, when I began working in movie sound, there were essentially no sound effects libraries. We had to go out and record all of our own sounds brand new for each movie. And now there are hundreds and hundreds of sound effects libraries covering every conceivable kind of sound you can imagine. When I began, everything was analog, of course. We had these beautiful Swiss recorders with reels running around, tape going from one reel to another reel. Now everything is digital which gives us lots of possibilities that we didn't have before, but I have to admit I'm a little nostalgic sometimes for the old analog days. One of the things that I'm nostalgic for is longer takes. Uh, when we are looking at a pair of characters or a landscape for a period of time that allows a sound to develop and evolve, Maybe it's a thematic sound that relates to a place or a set of characters that changes from the beginning of the film to the end of the film. And to my mind, one of the unfortunate things about film styles changing over the last, uh, especially 15, 20 years, is that shots get shorter, scenes get shorter, cut, 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 and it really gives us very little time to develop sound ideas. And as we know, fashions always change. Old styles come back into style, and I'm really hoping that we return to the days when we could linger on a shot long enough to hear a sound develop and flourish like a flower.